said you're going to make heads turn and, and, and tongues waggle. I you were kidding. I can't move. Lean on me. sound asleep. Uh, Mary said that uh, Shane went down without a problem, but Mara was a different story. She, um, she was afraid to close her eyes. She kept seeing monsters chasing her. Giant carousel horses with fangs. Mother's gonna be okay. She's strong like her father. You know, it's your job to see silver linings. Oh, I see your storm clouds. I'll tell you what, anybody who uh, thinks that lightning doesn't strike twice has never gone one-on-one -on -one with Reva Shane. Josh, what happened tonight when you went to one-on-one -on -one with Reva? Come on, I think you should go. I mean, if you're waiting around for good reviews, I, I don't think Springfield is your kind of audience. You want me to run away? No, I think maybe you should cut your losses. I'll take you anywhere you want to go. I did. just I think you should get the hell out of Dodge. Hey, Queenie, why don't you tell your royal orchestra to jazz it up a notch? I mean, this is a party, not a funeral. Oh, well, that's the baby. Dear, I see yourself. There's no dying a slow death as we speak. <laughs> Off with her head. <laughs> Roger! How about a dance for old times' sake? You owe me one. I prefer to witness your melodrama rather than partake in it. Oh, we're taking the high road, are we? Better watch this one, Dinah. She makes me look respectable. You know, you really are humiliating yourself. Well, that's easy. To hum humiliate yourself, all you have to do is dance on tables, strip in fountains, and bear all for the camera. Isn't that right, Roger? Well, you can just bear us a party roll routine, because you're just making a fool out of yourself. You ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, Ross Marler! between friends, right? No, thanks, Reeve. Such a My good old friend. How about one sit around the floor in honor of Kyle and May? Not tonight. Come on, what's wrong with all you people? It's me, it's Rava Shane, the original party girl. Oh, come on, satisfaction's guaranteed. Ask any man from here to eternity. Satisfaction or your money back. Yeah, right. Buzz. Too late. <laughs> I'm already going into four. Minutes. I know. How you doing? Woo! That's a, that's a riddle. <gasps> Woo! She was sorry. That's what happened. 
I mean, I couldn't believe it. You know, one minute she was a raving banshee, and the next minute she was the scared little girl I grew up with in Tulsa. She told me about the last five years, and even though I can't excuse what she's done, I think I finally began to understand. She's so desperate for what she's lost. She, um... Uh... This is the way it's always been with me and Reva. Fights to the death, you know? Constantly pushing each other to the edge of madness. There were times, Annie, when pain and pleasure got so mixed up that I couldn't tell the difference between the two. All I know is we were addicted to living this life on the edge of sanity, pushing the limits further and further until... Until what, Josh? Until I found you. Josh, why didn't you tell me you kissed Reva? Why did I have to hear it from her? I don't think my heart can take this. Have pity on me, okay? Let's just... All right. I'm nothing if I'm not obliging. Thank you. It would mean such a pain. But I can take it from here. Good night, everyone. See me in your dreams. wasn't about love, it wasn't about uh, passion or some kind of sweet parting. It was Reva Shane backed into a corner, that's it, that's the way she works, okay? When, when words don't work and tears don't work, she falls back onto her ultimate weapon. It's like a, a, an ambush in a red dress. I just didn't want to dump that on you. Of course, I didn't know that she would uh, come out in public and make such a big scene out of it. I'm sure you didn't. But I don't... I don't understand. I need to know one thing. What's that? When you kissed Reva... Did it get to you? I'm doing. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Josh, you still haven't answered my question. I know. Heaven knows that, that I am no one to cast stones. You can tell me anything. You kissed Reva. Did her kiss get to you? Did you feel anything? Uh, yes. Now, don't tell me you're going to reject me, too. That's not the New Year's I had planned. You're in my way. Oh, now, come on. It's, it's early yet. It's not even midnight. You're welcome to stay here as, as I know long you as told you want. me not to follow Joshua, and I disobeyed. You know how hard it is for me to follow orders. Doesn't matter anymore. 
please put the bags down. You've made your point. I, I, I guess, it, you know, it, it, I was a bad girl. It must have been the champagne. I haven't been drinking that much. I mean, the strongest thing we had in Goshen was... You're wasting my time, Reba. Just... You're wasting my time, all and right? you know how Joshua always pushes my buttons, and I know I shouldn't have let him, but I couldn't walk away. Oh. My point exactly. Please don't be mad. I, I know I... I, I, I... I was wrong, and you were right, and, but how much penance do you want me to do? Do you want me to put my apron back on or my bonnet? I'll, I'll iron your suits. I'll, I'll even try to, 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 to learn to like Mauler or, or Mailer or Muller, whatever his name is. Damn, Alan, you're tough. Not as tough as I thought. I gave you a choice, and you chose Josh. Now live with it. No, it didn't mean anything, and it's over. Over for you or over for him? I mean, if he hadn't walked out on you tonight, do you think you'd be here begging me to stay, yes. Reva? Yes. Yeah. Well, maybe. Uh, I don't know, but, but what difference does it make? The point is, is that I am here. And I am begging you, please. Don't walk out on me this way, please. You told me you loved me. You swore to me that you were going to stand by me. And you swore to me you didn't love Josh anymore. So we both lied. I can't lie to you, Annie. Reva's kiss got to me. Because you still honor. her. No. Because I'm... Because I'm a human being. Reva and I go back a long way, Annie. I mean, we've, we've known each other since we were kids. The kiss was like an old reflex. It was... It was like something that... Uh, that happens in spite of you, not because you planned it or because you wanted it. It, it just happened like somebody Listen, pulled the switch or something. But, but I need wrong, you to okay? understand, Annie. Please, stay. All right. I guess I told you all my life's sordid details. It didn't work. The minute it happened, I knew that it didn't work anymore. What didn't the, work? The kiss didn't work. The closeness. That thing that we used to be able to do to each other at the drop of a hat. It's not there anymore. It's gone. It's finished. Just like that? Just like that, yes. Josh, after everything you told me, after everything that Reva has told me, that everyone has told me, it seems like your relationship was full of passion. Passion without love is nothing. Once it start. But it's not what we have. It's not real. She was so important to you for so long, you know? I remember the night you told me about her accident and how you couldn't come out of your room for weeks. And how other people had to take care of your kids. How your friends and family were so worried about you, they thought you would go insane out of sadness and how lonely you felt. And then when Harley finally tried to gather Reva's clothes and, and throw them that out... That was a long time ago, Andy, but Josh. I don't love her anymore. I don't love her anymore. I love you. When she was kissing me, all I could think about was getting back to you, was being with you, where it's safe. And where I'm happy. And away from that place that is so painful and so hard. I wanted to be in your arms, not hers. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you hear me? Do you believe me? Please, believe me, Danny. Listen, I need time to think. I need some No, time. please. Um, 
that love doesn't make sense. That it requires a leap of faith. You remember that? Annie, it took me a long time to make that leap of faith, but I did. I realize what I'm asking you to do now is tough, and the scene at the country club made it even tougher. I know I said some things just now that hurt you. It may be hard for you to understand. Every vow I made to you, take care of yourself. I want you to trust that. I'm asking you now, please, to make that leap of faith for me. Can you do that? And please tell me that you can do that. You're not going to make this easy, are you? You can say whatever you think. You always do, Reva. You think I'm lying? You don't believe me? Your words, not mine. Okay, maybe you're right. Maybe I have been a liar. Why don't you take it to confession? Ellen, please! I'm out of don't walk away from me, please! Maybe I did want to be with Joshua tonight. There's no maybe about it, Reva. Ellen, don't. It's over. He ended it in front of half of Springfield. When did that happen? Right after you left. I went back into the ballroom to say that no man walks away from me after kissing me the way he did. Well, I'm sorry. I missed the famous floor show. I want my money back. <laughs> well, you should have been there. You would have had a field day saying I told you so. Because you did tell me so. You told me that Joshua would make a fool of me. You told me that he'd reject me, that he... Humiliated me. He told the entire world, including Annie, that he couldn't remember why he ever fell in love with me. Did I say that? He said that I was trash. And that I'd always be trash. And then he told everyone about what happened in the diner when I was a little girl and that I had been using my body to get whatever I wanted ever since then. You should have seen the look on his face. It was so cold. So hard. He still wishes I was dead. Josh humiliated you and disgraced you in front of everyone just like he did tonight. Oh, that was different. Uh, I was there to rescue you then, too. It wasn't the same. I loved you, Reva. The only problem was, you didn't love me. And you know, I'm not in the mood for a rerun, especially one with that lousy ending. Ellen, wait. I don't want you to leave. Why the hell not, Reva? He'll give you a feel there. You, you and Josh can play all the games you want. I mean, as much as you can stand. No, it's not a game. And if it was, it's not anymore. No, no, it's not a game with you and Josh. It's very serious. I mean, with you. 
Oh, Reva, come on. I don't mean a damn thing to you. No, it's not like that anymore. It's changed. I know now that you care about me, and you're the only one who does. Why? Why don't I believe you? Alan, wait. You once said you wanted me. I once said a lot of things, but they're in the past now, Reva. Thank you.